In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute for the derivative of these two functions using the limit definition of the derivative. Let's get started. If we look at this uh, function here, so when we use the limit definition, so our derivative f prime of x is equal to the limit of uh, the difference quotient f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0. And now you use the definition of the function. So this is equal to limit as h approaches 0. f of x plus h is just equal to 1 plus 2 times x plus h. And then over 3 minus x plus h. You need a grouping symbol here. Common mistake is to forget the grouping symbol. Because in this case, grouping symbol is important because it is preceded by a minus sign. And then minus your f of x is 1 plus 2x over 3 minus x and then all over h and now this is a complex fraction and how do you simplify complex fraction in algebra you multiply the numerator and denominator by the lcd of the fractions in the numerator and in the denominator but we only have fractions in the numerator so the lcd here is just the product of these two and uh, what is that uh, product that is just equal to 3 minus uh, x minus h okay so when we remove the grouping symbol here this becomes minus x minus h and then times the denominator of the second fraction which is uh, 3 minus x so we also multiply the denominator by this 3 minus x minus h and then times uh, 3 minus x and then now after multiplying this complex fraction by that uh, LCD over LCD, it will convert this complex fraction into a simple fraction. Okay, so no more fraction in the numerator. So we'll get here limit as h approaches 0 of, you have in this case, uh, 1 plus uh, 2x plus uh, 2h. Okay, so when we distribute this here, okay, this factor here so we'll cancel this one with this so we'll get uh, this one which is actually 1 plus 2x plus 2h and then times you have that uh, 3 minus x and then minus so you multiply this by this one so you cancel that 3 minus x you'll get uh, 1 plus 2x and then times uh, 3 minus x minus h and then all over the denominator, so you have here h times 3 minus x minus h times 3 minus x. So when you're just computing for the derivative of an algebraic function, just like this, rational function, for sure you'll be able to obtain a common factor h between the numerator and in the denominator when you simplify this one. Okay, And here when we expand the numerator, we'll get limit as h approaches 0 of, so let's uh, multiply this by 3 and then by uh, negative x. So we'll get here 3 plus uh, 6x plus 6h and then minus x minus 2x squared and then minus uh, 2hx. And then minus, in this case, uh, we multiply this by 1 and then by 2x. And we'll get, multiplying that by 1, we'll get a 3 minus x minus h. And then multiply that by 2x, we'll get here plus uh, 6x and then minus 2x squared minus uh, 2hx. Okay, And all over, we have here, just copy the denominator there, Okay, times uh, 3 minus x. And now, so this numerator can be simplified to, so this uh, 3 minus 3 cancels uh, minus x and then minus x. Uh, minus 2x squared, minus 2x squared, and then minus uh, 2hx, and then minus uh, 2hx. And then what else? Also, we have uh, 6x and then 6x. So therefore, the numerator is just equal to, so this is limit as h approaches 0 of, you have here 6x, and then minus uh, negative h, so that is equal to 7h over h times uh, 3 minus x minus h and then times uh, 3 minus x and now we cancel the h because h is close to 0 but not equal to 0 so that is just equal to 1 so the limit here 
is just 7. So as h goes to 0, so this uh, h here goes to 0. So that factor goes to 3 minus x and then times 3 minus x, which can be simplified to 7 over 3 minus x quantity squared. And this is the derivative of this function f of x. Let's move to the second function. Okay, so let's compute for the derivative. So g prime of t in this case is limit again as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. So g of t plus h minus g of t all over h as h approaches 0. So this is equal to limit as h approaches 0 of square root of 1 minus 5 times. Again, use a grouping symbol t plus h. And then you have your minus square root of 1 minus 5t. So that is our g of t all over h. And then now, how do we uh, find the limit of this? Uh, take note that the limit is in the form 0 over 0. Okay. And if you have a radical, one way to find the limit is to first rationalize. In this case, rationalize the numerator by multiplying it by its conjugate. So let's uh, multiply this one by its conjugate. And the conjugate is just equal to the sum. So this is times uh, square root of 1 minus 5t uh, minus 5h. And then minus uh, square root of 1 minus 5t. Uh, so we can already write this one here as uh, 5 minus 5t minus 5h. Uh, but this must be plus, okay? because we want to get rid of the radicals in the numerator. So this is over square root of 1 minus 5t minus 5h, and then plus square root of 1 minus 5t. And uh, this is equal to limit as h approaches 0 of special product in the numerator, sum and difference. So it will be difference of two squares. So the square of the first term, so that is 1 minus 5t minus 5h minus the square of the second term. Don't forget the grouping symbol and then all over the denominator. So uh, h times uh, square root of 1 minus 5t minus 5h, and then plus square root of 1 minus 5t. And then here we can cancel the 1 minus 1 and then negative 5t minus negative 5t. So we'll be left with negative 5h in the numerator. And we have a common factor in the numerator and denominator, which is uh, equal to h. Okay, So we cancel that uh, common factor, so replace them by 1. So therefore, this is just limit of negative 5 over this uh, expression here. As h goes to 0, this h here goes to 0. So the limit is just equal to negative 5 over square root of 1 minus 5t, and then plus square root of 1 minus 5t. And this is equal to negative 5 over 2 square root of 1 minus 5t.